The Lord started releasing to us years ago, probably um, in 2004, He began to give us dreams and encounters and visions about this whole new breed of revivalists that are being raised up in the land. He began to give us dreams about healing revivalists being released in. They were going to walk in this level of anointing like William Branham and Catherine Kuhlman and Oral Roberts and Billy Graham and Gordon Lindsay. And he began to show us that there's an anointing coming on the church right now for revival to take cities and disciple nations. And so, you know, we just have a real vision and a heart to, um, to partner with and mobilize young revivalists all over the world, those in their teens and 20s and their leaders. And we feel like the Lord's given us a mandate to raise up an, a new generation of healing revivalists that are going to be sent around the world for worldwide revival. And the thing that we're burn, burning for is what I believe the Lord's burning for, which is that He wants to give His Son the nations as His inheritance. And so what He's doing is He's raising up revivalists with an anointing for nations to see them completely one to the Lord so that He can give those nations to His Son as an inheritance. And uh, that's what we're burning for. And we're seeing it right now. We're seeing teenagers and young adults on campuses in their workplace, uh, you know, just in life who are moving in signs and wonders, are moving in the prophetic, are moving in the supernatural realm, are seeing people get saved, healed, delivered. And uh, it's been an exciting time. So really what we want to do is we want to be a part. There's a movement that's actually happening across the world. We're just a part of it. You know, there are many, many ministries that are being raised up right now who are trumpeting this message of signs and wonders, the prophetic, supernatural, in order to disciple nations and see entire cities saved. And uh, we're just one of those ministries, but um, that's what our passion is. That's what we're burning for. And that's what we're going after. And that's what these conferences are about. That's what all, the whole ministry, the websites and the resources and the conferences, it is about seeing young people come into an encounter with God, be equipped in the realm of the supernatural, and sent as revivalists into the place where they live. So that's what we're excited about. My dreams for this generation. You know, my dreams for this generation, um, really I won't see for probably 30 years or so. I, I have a real vision and a passion, my dream for them right now, that they, um, that they would be revivalists right now, that they would change their campus right now, that they would move in signs and wonders right now. But really what I'm longing for is that when I meet them in 30 years, they're going to be more on fire for God than ever before. They're going to be moving in more signs and wonders than ever before. They're going to be plugged into their local church. They're going to be taking nations, shifting cities, giving themselves to a life of prayer. And they're able to look back and say, you know what, it was at one of those conferences that the Lord possessed me. It was at one of those conferences that something clicked inside of me and I felt like, you know, God just put me on like a garment. In 30 years, it's been 30 years and I am more passionate, more on fire for God than I've ever been. And it bore fruit in my life then. I mean, uh, campuses were rocked and my friends were saved. But I mean, entire nations have shifted because I decided to say yes to God and go for it. And that happened in one of those worship times. And that happened during one of those sermons. Or that happened in a workshop or whatever it is. That's my dream right now. That's, that's the dream that I'm pursuing. Seeing an entire, this emerging generation of revivalists that change the world now, but give themselves to a life of prayer and power so that in 20, 30, 40 years when I run into them, they're looking at me and they're saying, Barry, and I, I'm going for God harder than I've ever gone for Him. And this is what we've seen happen. And so, that's really, that's my dream, you know, to see an entire generation raised up in holiness, in power, in purity, in prayer, and uh, see them engage that thing now. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you another one of my dreams for this generation is, and one of the things that we're pretty passionate about, is, is revival's not on its way. It's here. We're in the middle of revival. Revival is happening all over the world. We live in the greatest hour in all of history. It's unprecedented. It's unparalleled, the hour we live in. There are more people being saved today than ever before. There is power being released in the church like never before. There's a prayer movement that's global. It's never happened before. And it's happening right now. And not just in third world countries. In America. In America, there is a hunger and a passion for God in a prayer movement and a power movement that that is really unprecedented. And so I, I have a dream to see them engage it now. At 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 26, that now they say, I'm a revivalist. That's who I am. And I don't have to wait for some anointing to drop on me from heaven. I can move in this thing now if I want to engage. So.
you can expect quite a bit coming to a Jesus Culture Conference. We, we base them around Encounter, Equip, Send. And we kind of actually found that kind of three-word thing after we'd already been doing. We were trying to figure out what, what's going on here. We began to realize, what I really want to do is I want to create an atmosphere where people can come in and encounter God. Ultimately, I mean, we have, ultimately we have nothing to offer. We, we just want to offer God. We want people to come in and have an encounter with God. We want, them to have, you know, we want them to have God encounters, and we want them to go to heaven, and we want them to experience a love they've never experienced. We want them to experience His presence in a way that they've never experienced. We want them to come in and encounter God, to become passionately in love with Him, I, I, to say, God, listen, above everything else, I am, I'm burning in love with you. And we want them to encounter a God who looks at them and says, you're great. And would they understand their identity because of an encounter they had? And they understand they're loved because they encountered His love. Not because some preacher told them about it, but because they encountered it firsthand. The tangible love of God, the tangible presence of God, the manifest presence, the glory of God, they've encountered it. So we have a real heart to create an atmosphere through, through ministry, through preaching, through radical worship, really pursuing the presence of God together. Um, you can expect to encounter God. I mean, this is what we want. We want to create an atmosphere where you'll encounter God. But we also, we also want you to be equipped in the realm of the supernatural. And we believe that, that you're a revivalist right now. We believe that you're a minister right now. And we believe that you need to be equipped in the realm of the supernatural. So in prayer, in power, in the prophetic, in dreams, in signs and wonders, healing, uh, you know, all this stuff. Campus ministry, we, we want you to be equipped. We want you to be trained in the realm of the supernatural. And we want you to be trained as a revivalist. You encounter God and understand, I'm a revivalist who's loved by God. And then you go into a workshop, or you go to a sermon, where you're actually being equipped and trained. And then uh, out of that sense, you know, uh, uh, all of our conferences, but maybe one, are geared around, you're going to go on the streets. Uh, I, I, I had a passion early on where I'm like, I don't want to just sit in workshops. If we're going to tell you a revivalist, we want you to experience that you're a revivalist. And so what we want to do is, is so you'll get trained in workshops, encounter God, but then uh, the, the mornings or the afternoons, wherever we're at, the mornings or the afternoons, we send the entire conference onto the streets. We send them all onto the streets, they go out there, and they, lay, they get words of knowledge, they lay hands on the sick, they prophesy over people, they pray on campuses, they hear God, they get words of knowledge, you know, they, they see visions, they see angels, and this is because they go out. So we say, listen, you, we're not just going to tell you that you're a revivalist. We're going to put you on the spot and we're going to send you into the cities, the different cities that we're in. We're going to send you into the cities. You're going to go on the streets. You're going to get a word of knowledge. You're going to find that word of knowledge and then you're going to pray for people. And so, you know, blind, uh, it's amazing what's happened. I mean, deaf ears have opened, mute people have spoke, backs have been healed. Young people have gotten people's names. Uh, people have gotten saved, delivered, filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, a blind eye opened, and uh, so that's what we want to. You can expect to to really have an atmosphere where an encounter with God is tangible and possible.